Hey everyone, it's me, Yana. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would really much appreciate it. It would make my day. And give this video a thumbs up. It takes just a second to do. And let's just, you know, spread some love around. Today I'm going to be doing what I think is a really practical video. Um, and it's how to get all A's in school. And don't worry, I'm not just going to be making back to school videos. I'm going to be alternating between like school videos and then summer videos. Just so you guys aren't overloaded with school videos. Because who wants to think about school when it's still summer, right? I'm just going to give you some tips. Um, I'm in college, so this... Um, I guess applies for college students but if you're in high school or middle school I think you can take these tips as well um, so yeah let's get right into it my number one tip obviously is to study but not only to study but to make studying fun so I used to hate studying so much and I mean it's not like I love studying but I've tried to make it a little bit more enjoyable so when you're about to study for a test, just grab your computer, your notebooks, whatever you need, lay it all out in a nice, clean, crisp space that you have. Grab some coffee, get yourself some Starbucks, maybe a little snack, and then get some pretty highlighters, pretty pens, and just go for it and just start studying. Um, I find that that really helps me because I feel like I'm kind of doing things that I enjoy like drinking coffee, eating obviously, and using fun colors and stuff like that. Um, and also to make sure that I take breaks. Um, usually I study in 45 minute increments with a 15 minute break in between and that like really helps me so much. I swear to you, I like have been getting A's on like almost every single test because I've started doing this. And also uh, my neuroscience professor I had a meeting with him once because um, I wasn't understanding some of the material and I really needed help studying and the tips that he gave me since he's a neuroscience professor so he knows everything about how your brain remembers things. Um, I got A's on like every test after that. So these are tips from a neuroscientist, okay? Okay. You look at flashcards or you like take like a notebook and you like cover up the answer and try to think about it. A lot of the times we think that we know it so we're like, Oh, I think it's that, is it? Oh yeah, it is. That is not studying. That's not going to help you get A's. I'm guilty of doing it. Like, if you're wondering why you can't get all A's, and if you're studying this way, then um, just I recommend for you guys, no matter how many times it takes, to don't, like, peek, you know, when you're studying. You know, just read through every single thing. A couple of times I usually try to do it three times just read through everything on my study guide and what it means and then I'll start to like cover it up and I'll try to think about it really really hard and then if I can't do it I'll just move on to the next one and then read through it again and stuff like that if you guys want me to do a more in-depth video on like studying and stuff I'll do that when school starts and when I actually have a test just so that like it's more real you know that I'm not making things up that is a trick if you want to get good grades and get all A's to kind of change your study methods but also make studying a fun and enjoyable experience another thing kind of going along with how I went to my professor for help go to your professors go to your teachers ask for help I cannot stress this enough I'm an introvert so I would like hate talking to like teachers and like I would just be scared of asking for help, but you just need to buck up and do it because that's the teacher's job. Um, they're there to help you. If you don't understand something, go to the teacher. And also, doing this will help build relationships with your teachers. And having a good relationship with your teacher or professor is so important. It's going to help you in the long run. And... Um, Chances are they're more likely to round up your grade if you have a relationship with them. So do what you got to do. Sit in the front every day. Raise your hand to answer a few questions here and there. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing that. I know like 
I didn't really like doing that. Um, to ask a question in front of people after class is over or during their office hours or whatever. Just go up to them and be like, hey, I didn't understand this. Can you please explain it to me again or give me a different way? Um, that way this shows that you want to do better and teachers will see that and they will deeply appreciate the effort that you went through to ask them for help. My next tip for getting all A's is to make sure you plan and stick to a schedule. So always do your homework. Like, there's no excuse for that. Honestly, homework can be a huge chunk of a grade. And if you're not good at tests, doing all of your homework and turning it on time is a big, important thing. So just make sure you set a schedule when you're going to do your homework, when you're going to study. Don't save it till the last minute. Unless maybe if it's like busy work or like something that's kind of easy, then you can. But if it's like studying, I would suggest start typing up or writing your study guide at least a week in advance. Um, that's what I try to do. I don't really begin studying actually until two to three days before the test, but making the study guide that in itself helps you study because you're writing things down and I recommend writing things down. My neuroscience professor told me this, your brain will remember if you write it down rather than if you type it. Just make sure that you have a planner or a calendar, use it on your phone, give yourself reminders to study, even if it's for a little bit every day, any little bit helps, you can find time in your schedule. If you can spend like 30 minutes on Pinterest planning your future wedding, then you can spend that time studying for a test, honey, okay? And my last tip to getting all A's is to do every single extra credit opportunity as you possibly can. This is so important because you can have a C in the class, but if you do every single extra credit thing, you can bump your grade up to an A minus or even potentially an A if you do it really well and stuff. And a lot of the times the extra credit isn't hard. Yes, I know it's tedious and in your mind you're like, but I don't really have to do it. I know, I know. But if you just do it, I promise you it's worth it. It's free points that the teacher is giving you, honestly. So just do extra credit. Or if your teacher isn't offering extra credit, ask them. A lot of the times they will come up with something for you. I feel like it's really hard to fail a class if you've done every single extra credit. Like, I think it's impossible to fail a class if you have done extra credit. So yeah, those are all my tips on getting all A's. These are the tips that worked for me. I know everyone is different and my tips might not work for you, but just this is just a good starting point for you guys. And let me know what other like studying or academic related videos you guys would like to see. Also, if you want to see any summer videos, please let me know in the comments below. I would really much appreciate it. And thank you guys for sticking around. And we're almost at 3K subscribers, so definitely hit the subscribe button. Help me reach 3K. That would just oh, make me so happy. And maybe I'll throw a party and eat cake. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Save for a notebook, but I think it's worth it. These last me the whole year. I get five star every year. They're just the best. No.